John, we often talk about bigger city leaders work to address chaos across the city, but there's also many volunteers working to tackle the problem. Today, grassroots organizations met at Cully Park to have a good time while also discussing traumatic issues. All of these people you see pictured have lost their life to gun violence here in the Rose City, leaving an imprint on their families and the young people who surround them. A lot of my friends have been shot and killed. Two of my closest friends have been shot, one in the shoulder, one in the head. Both have made really good recoveries and are fully healthy now, but both were before the age of 18 and I was really young, so it was, it was kind of a weird learning period for me, I guess. Just last week, city leaders met at Dawson Park to address their efforts to combat shootings, not only in that North Portland area, but the city as a whole. Mayor Ted Wheeler says a $2 million federal grant is going towards violence reduction efforts in the Hazelwood, Powellhurst, Gilbert, and Elliott neighborhoods. But smaller scale organizers like Jennifer Hardnett, say people like her who work hand in hand with improving the lives of marginalized young teens are often met with the challenge of receiving no money and no attention from the city. A lot of these youth, when they lose someone that's dear to them, um, it, it impacts them in so many different ways. It's hard for them to concentrate in school. It's hard for them to engage with their peers um, structurally. And then also it, it, want, it makes them feel like they need to pick up a gun too. Which is why she's done the work to figure out how much they need. It would take at least $10,000 to $20,000 a month of investment in over 100 youth in order to keep them from engaging in gun violence. Helping put together a bullet-free weekend event this Saturday at Cully Park creating a positive environment for other organizers to brainstorm ways to get funding directly to young people they say have suffered the most from ongoing shootings, like Brother Nolan from Black Men in Training, who leads the mentorship program. We all know how to help and advance our city, so give us the chance or just give us some money so where we can actually go out there and do what we need to do. The work is going to get done regardless, but we would actually appreciate if we had some funding behind us. Invest more time and the people that are actually trying to help the youth out in their community and be a little bit more a part of it. Now, organizers say city funding would go towards teens' basic needs and their future education. John, back to you. All right, Sydney, thank you.